Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and today I'm going to talk to you about the scroll lock key and how to use it effectively in Excel. Now the scroll lock key is on the top row of many keyboards, usually between the print screen and the pause keys. It was originally intended many many years ago with the old IBM PCs to control cursor movement in programs. It can be toggled on or off and indeed on many keyboards you will find an indicator to tell you whether it is on or off at any time. But knowing what it actually does is another matter. Many people will toggle it on and then be disappointed find nothing seems to change. And that's because very few programs now actually use it, but there is an important exception with Excel, and I'll come on to that in a few seconds. Because it is so rarely used, it has been removed from many keyboards to save space. But if your keyboard doesn't have a scroll lock key and you want to use it after this video, you'll find it still available in the on screen keyboard, osk.exe, which is designed for accessibility. That's the one that looks like this. It is not available, however, in the newer tablet keyboard, tabtips.x, so you will have to actually use the older version. Let's open Excel and see what it does. Now I've got a fairly simple spreadsheet here with a number of different columns, and I can scroll across and up and down with the scroll wheels in the usual way. I can also move from cell to cell, either by clicking on them or by using the arrow keys. So I'm clicking right here, down, left, up. I'm sure you're all familiar with that. However, if I turn on the scroll lock key, you'll notice in the, tar in the status bar that the scroll lock indicator has come on here. If I now click the right arrow here, remember I'm clicked on the, the cell chevron, you'll see the whole window moves. But if I click on the formula bar there, you'll see that I'm actually still in the same cell. Let's do that again. And you can see I'm scrolling left and right, but I'm keeping the same cell as before. So the scroll lock key actually has uses where you've got a very large spreadsheet and you want to move from cell to cell without actually changing the cell that you've selected. That's fine if you know what you're doing. The problem comes when you're actually not sure what on earth is happening. If you hadn't realised what the scroll lock key does, then you could easily find yourself moving the arrows and wondering why you can't change your cell. Why it is that you're just actually moving the window across at high speed like this. If you right click on the status bar in Excel, you can see all the different possibilities of things you can turn on or off. One of them there is scroll lock. Now just to make it clear, if I actually now untick that, it doesn't actually change the status of the scroll lock key. It's still, in this case, turned on. It's just I can't tell it's turned on. I turn it back on here and you can see is that, that there. Let's turn off the scroll lock key. The indicator disappears on the status bar and now the arrows work in the usual way. So, useful but can be confusing if you don't know what you're doing. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. As always, if, if you found it useful, please add a like and leave a comment, subscribe, and do suggest topics for future videos in this series. See you soon.